All right, today's the day. We're gonna go see if this thing will pass smog. Okay, so I took the SV over to the smog shop, which is right over there, right, you know, just a couple doors down. Uh, and he asked what the timing was set at, and like I said in previous videos, I knew it was set at 13, uh, but I didn't know if that would affect the timing or not, or affect the ability to pass smog. And he informed me that he, it, he does in fact check the timing and make sure that it's set at, at 10 with the spout removed. So uh, instead of having him identify that and fail me, uh, I got it, got it back over here in the shop and uh, I'm gonna set the timing at 10. So the first thing you wanna do is get it up to operating temperature. It's good to have the engine at operating temperature. And I got just this basic timing gun. You're gonna set the lead. Set the lead, this clamp on number one. When you do this, you wanna make sure that the clamp is all the way closed around it. You got a good so you got a good source now you connect to the to the battery okay so I have my extension going down here uh, I have it just on the I have it on the the distributor hold down uh, I don't have it loose right now what I like to do is back it off just a little bit so it's a little bit difficult to turn the distributor that way it's not moving all around. The timing's moving all around while you're doing this. So I like to keep tension on it um, when I'm doing it, but uh, I got this on there with the breaker bar to, I've already loosened it, make sure that I can kind of move it and got a good grip. It was kind of a pain to get down in there. It was a uh, 11 sixteenths uh, is the size socket that I'm using. It's a non deep socket. Uh, I think that might be a wobbly down there. I'm not sure, but uh, so once you got that set and you're ready to loosen that up, engine's at uh, operating temperature. We've got our gun connected. Uh, let's fire it up and see if we can get some readings. Before you start it, you wanna make sure any of your wires are not gonna get tangled up in the accessory belts. I almost forgot, when you set your timing, you need to disconnect the spout on these electronic advanced ignitions. And the spout is just a little plug. It's just like this, and you're just gonna pull that out of there. What that does, it keeps the computer from advancing the timing. Don't lose that. Make sure you put it back in when you're done. Okay, so we got... Oh, that's almost, it's almost right on 10. So I'm turning the distributor now. Okay, I think I got it. I'm going to tighten it down. Check, see if it moved. I think we're good. Now the timing set, don't forget to put your spout connector back in. clean bill of, bill of health there it is this car hasn't been registered or driven on the road since 2015 